Um, you were wanting to say something during the tape. Oh yeah, that, that was the night that, uh, this is when you told me that, that's the night that she said that her dad was abusive. Mm -hmm. when, when we was in the same room, when she said your dad puts her hands on her. Mm -hmm. I mean, you can act like you don't know. We know. Does that have to do with anything? I'm just saying. Okay, so you've said it, now what? Yeah. Okay, I, let's move I, on. All right, let's move on. What, what, so what's next? What do you want to say next? Oh, nothing. That's, I just wanted to point that out because she was acting like she didn't understand. You didn't like me standing up to you. I love that you stood up to me. I like that. I like that you're a strong, independent woman. I respect you. <clears throat> I don't respect you, sir. Mm -hmm. I would be very, very careful if I were you. <laughs> this is what I do. I, I read people, and yes, sir. I've been doing this for 45 years, and I would be very, very careful. Yes, sir. I don't respect racist people. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yeah, you, you can throw the race card up on the table if you want, but I would be very, very careful about insulting the father of a girl that I had been physically and sexually yes, assaulting. Sir. Yes, sir. I would be very careful about that, whether he's black, red, blue, green, or whatever. I would be very, yes, very sir. careful about that. Just my advice. Did he, did he just raise the race card? He did. DeAndre? Yes, sir. I'm open to what I was hoping you would say something even more stupid than what you've already said. Could you, I didn't think it was possible, but I've been wrong before. What did you just say about race? I just hear, this is a hearsay. I'm not 100% sure if he's racist or not. I'm just hearsay oh, of what your daughter oh. tells me. Just like she said that you beat her. Okay. I'm just hearsay of what your daughter tells me. Right. When you're beating her and when she's trying to get out of the no, situation. No, sir. When, she, when, when, when she's scared when she's going to take she, When she's at home starving and you're not helping her with no. anything. And she's, None of this she's telling true. me. Let me, can I, when she's well, you're, me, you're, you're not accountable mind. to him for right. that, but go ahead with whatever else. Put your, put your mind at ease. Yes, you sir. seem like such a good young man. Um, so let's talk about race. It seems like your generation loves to throw out that. So you've been I've, given your I opportunity. Have, have let no me problem. have mine. I understand, sir, so, but I have no problem. I'm just going off of yeah, what your daughter I, tells me. So then let me help you clear it up, okay? All right, let me, let me listen. Yeah. All so, um, in the 20 years that I had the privilege of serving my country, uh, I led men of all color, women of all color. I understand that. I trained and fought beside them, and I was yes, willing sir. without hesitation yes, to give my life for them, yes, to protect the rights of the people sitting out here. And if you look, they're different colors. To protect people like you, who yes, even sir. though you're too foolish to understand it, still have privileges that the Constitution provides you. And there's men and women that are willing to fight for those. So the two best friends uh, that I had the privilege of knowing, uh, one was a black man. And my wife can tell you this. He and I were brothers. We were. And the day that I got the call from his wife that he had died in Afghanistan was probably one of the saddest days of my life. And I still weep when I think about his passing. You don't have the right to speak about race when you talk to me. If I'm the man that you think that I am, I would not have raised the daughters that I raise who don't see people based on the color of their skin. My daughter was in love with a black man before she met you, and he is awesome. He was good. My wife and I were actually excited about the prospect that he was going to propose to her, and every time we see him, we embrace him, and we tell him that we miss him. I have a daughter that married a Hispanic man. We didn't raise our children to see color. We raised them to love good people, yes, which is why we're having trouble with this. Do you have a story or a question for me? Click the link in the description and tell me what in the world is going on.